have, I have two children, and my two children, I believe, are a perfect example of how you can live in the same country, be raised by the same mother, different fathers, don't judge me, but they're <laughs> both their fathers, they have different fathers, both their fathers are English. Um, but my children are so wildly different to one another, they might as well be different nationalities. My son's a little English gentleman. My daughter is a mad Middle Eastern woman who moved in with us. <laughs> we're not even sure where from. She just turned up one day with suitcases full of ground pistachio nuts, chopped coriander, ready to be freeze dried. <laughs> My boy's sense of humour is very, very British. He uses it to tear down authority, me. <laughs> we were driving to Scotland when he was about nine years old and I said, darling, did you know, you know when you try and suddenly teach your children something about the world, I'll tell you some knowledge, darling. I said, did you know they're gonna ban smacking children in Scotland? And he went, oh, do you wanna get a wallop in now before we cross the border? <laughs> he has no time for my authority. That's a very British thing. He's just superior to me, even though we both had empires. <laughs> That's a massive thing both my countries have in common, having an empire. And if, if you have any doubt of, of, of the residue of, of empire mentality in Iranians, you only need to look at a Persian cat. <laughs> have you seen a Persian cat? The big, fluffy, saucepan face, admirals. And um, they walk around the street, go, I had an empire, you know, from here to number 12 was all mine. <laughs> anyway, so my son was getting ready for bed. He's a little kid, he's about seven or eight years old, and I uh, am trying to hurry him along. And I'm like, are you going to brush your teeth? And he didn't like my tone. I was like, no, 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 I am British, you are a foreigner, you do not talk to me like that. And he said, I've got no idea, I'm not a soothsayer. I haven't got time for this, right? I'm a busy working single mother. And I said, don't be such a smart ass. And he did something very British. He said a funny thing that came into his head and he took a gamble because he knew it might get him killed. <laughs> He said, your ass is smarter, mummy. You can speak out of yours. <laughs> if it's funny enough, you have to let them live, right? <laughs> I'll say to my little girl, darling, should we go upstairs and brush your teeth? You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> you are not the boss of me, mummy, if that is your real name. Don't look at me like that. I kill you. Don't leave me. I love you. I rip out my heart for you. It means nothing. I tear out my eyeballs as a sacrifice to you, but all you say to me is teeth, teeth, teeth. Why, why, why? Her dad's from Salisbury. <laughs> 